Visualizing data across a timescale can help you identify trends and patterns. In this video, you will see how to create a line chart, how to create an area chart, and how to create a stacked bar chart. This is the dashboard that will be developed during this video. The Coffee Sales 2022 zip file was downloaded from the Accelerator catalog and used to create this data module. First, I'm going to demonstrate the line visualization. Line visualizations are used to show trends over time and comparing multiple data series. They're probably the visualization we most often associate with time-based analysis. From dates, I'm going to drop date ID into the x-axis. I want to filter just for April data, so I'm going to drop month ID 4 into the local filters. From sales receipts, line item amount goes into the y-axis. And I want to show sales by product group. So product group goes into color. Sales for a product group is shown for each day. And when I hover over a point, I see the sales amount. When product groups cluster together, it can be difficult to see the lines. For example, add-ons is tangled up with the other product groups. I can filter add-ons, which mutes the other product groups, and I can now easily see how it's trending. I've copied the line visualization, and now I'm going to change it to an area visualization. This visualization shows the magnitude of change over time by stacking product group sales. With this visualization, I can see the total sales by days, and I get a sense how product groups contribute. When I hover over an area, I'm seeing the total sales for that particular product group across all time. With this visualization, I'm no longer able to see the daily sales values. I've copied the line visualization and now I'm going to change it to a stacked bar chart. With this visualization, I can see the product group sales by day. And when I hover over a particular bar, I see the sales for that product group for that day. And as well, because it's a stack bar chart, I'm seeing the proportional contribution for each product group to that particular sales day. So I can very easily pull out which sales day had the highest sales. This concludes the video on how to show trends over time. You have seen three different visualizations that you can use depending on the story you're telling. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.